Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how you can fix LogMe and Hamachi if you have any problems with that VPN service. First off, I want to give a quick shout out to Breezy for sending me a PayPal donation. If you appreciate my videos, thumbs up is a really good way to show your appreciation for free. It encourages me to keep making more videos and of course to help support me. If you give me a super like, you totally get a shout out there as well as any PayPal donations. So let's jump into how to fix this. First off, if you got the Logme and Hamachi service, there's a couple different things that you might have issues with. If it's all lit up like this, then it looks fine. This is in working order but there's a go offline option. So if you see that it looks grayed out like this, where it's just a white dot and the name is in gray, it's not working right. So you have to right click on it and go, go online and you'll see that it shows in black with the blue background and a green dot. The other thing that could be an issue is the power button up here. If we click it, it powers it off, it says it's offline and all the information disappears. So if we click the button again, it goes into online mode, it takes a moment, and then eventually within a few seconds you'll see that it's online and everything is lit up again. Note that if they're all grayed out, these people, then they're offline. But if anyone is online, they'll be in a darker color with a green dot beside them showing that they're online. If none of this works, there's another thing you can do. I created a batch file over here to fix it. So if we right click and go into edit, you'll see that in this batch file, it basically stops and restarts the Hamachi service. So you don't have to type in the commands manually or go searching for the service to restart it. Although you could do that manually. All you would have to do is copy this code, paste it into a notepad file, go into file and save as, change the save as type to all files and then whatever name you give it just make sure that you put dot bat for batch file at the end of it and then save that to the location where you want to run it from whenever you want to run this you can't just double click on it because it won't work what you would have to do is right click on it and go to run as administrator you'll have to hit yes if you're prompted for running it and you'll see that it stops it and it's sitting there waiting for you to press any key to continue starting the service and then it starts the service and it confirms that it was done successfully so we can hit any key to continue and I wrote it like this on purpose so that we could see that it successfully stopped and started otherwise it would just run it really fast disappear and you'd have no clue if it actually did it or not and that's it for this tutorial. and if you did find it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up or even better, a super like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.